Hi, Dave Williams here, and today's lesson is on binary addition. If you can do addition with base 10 or decimal numbers, you should have no problem doing binary addition. Now I want to start with uh, looking at a, a, an example with base 10 addition, just to remind you of some of the things that you're doing that you may not even think about anymore because it's so, it's so ingrained in your brain now. Let's say we wanted to add the numbers 43 plus 29. Now when we're doing this addition, what we're doing is we go column by column, adding the numbers, and if we come up with a number that's higher than can be represented by a single digit, we carry the remainder, we carry the rest of the number, in this case the tens part of the number, into the, into the next column. So, so 3 plus 9 is 12. You can't represent 12 in a single column. So we put a 2 here for the 1's column, and we carry the tens part over into the tens column. And then for the tens column, we have 1 plus 4 plus 2, which adds up to 7. And we get the answer of 72. When you are doing binary addition, you're doing basically the same thing. The, the only difference is you only have two bits, 1 and 0, that you can use to represent your number. So there's likely to be a lot more carrying. Now let's, let's just do a couple of simple examples to, to see what's going on when you do binary addition. So let's look at the number 1, 0... 1101 1, and add to it 111110. So just like with base 10, we're going to go column by column doing the addition, and if we have to, carry over values into the next column. So 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, but in binary that's 1, 0, which can't be represented in a single, can't be held in a single column. So we have a 0 here, and we carry the 1 over into the next column. Then we have 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3, or 1, 1. Again, cannot be represented, cannot be held in a single column. So we have the 1 here, and we carry the other 1 over into the next column. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 1, 0. 0 here, 1 into the next column. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. So we have a 1 here, 1 over into the next column and we get an answer of 1101011. Now, a good thing that you can do to double check your answer, especially when you're new to binary addition, is to convert the numbers back into decimal form and do the decimal addition and see if you get the same answer as you do when you convert the answer back into decimal form. So the number 101101, that is equal to 45. The number 111110 is equal to 62. We add these two numbers together and we get 107. And is this the same same value? Well, 1 plus 2 plus 8 plus 32 plus 64, you'll find that also adds up to 107. So it checks out. We did the addition correctly. Let's do another quick example. The number 10110 plus 11011. Add these up. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, so the 0 goes here, 1 carried over into the next column, 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 1, 0, so the 0 goes here, 1 into the next column, 1 plus 0 plus 1, 0 carry the 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1, 1 carry the 1. So let's do our check again. 1, 2 plus 4 plus, plus 16, 2 plus 4 plus 16, that's 22. Convert that into decimal, it's 27. Add those together, gives you 49. And we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 plus 32 plus 1 also adds up to 49. So our addition was correct. Thanks very much for listening. I hope you learned something, and I will see you in the next video.